Hey, come on, come Harry. On. Buzz me through. What you got there? Shit. Is this guy a mess of what? That's nothing. You should have seen him before. Guess he won't be dating again. And like he's ever getting out. He's a psycho killer. Sweet. What'd he do? That's classified. Like you even know. Why do they keep these losers alive? The lab wants it. As what? A crash test dummy? Who knows? He's been wired up to a box all summer. And maybe he's curing cancer. Hey, did you see that? Do you think he can hear us? He can hear all he wants. Hey, Doc, more monkey juice over here. Ah, uh, yes. Be careful with that one. Let me see. Hold his arm a moment. Why can't I remember anything? Whoa, I'm a long way up. What and where is this place? Ah, uh, I gotta get this door open. I guess that switch out there opens the door. If I could just press it somehow. Ah, uh, I don't understand what's going on at all. And what happened to those straps holding me to the bed? I woke up. I noticed them. I imagined them undoing. Did I undo them with my... This is insane. Of course I didn't do it. I'll prove it to myself. I'll try and do the same thing with that switch. I'll just focus my attention on it and see what happens. Oh, whoa! How the...? Either I'm going crazy, or I just press that switch from here. This is too weird. All right then, what else in this room can I control? I really think I should practice this new ability of mine. It might come in useful. This is incredible. How did I end up being able to do this? What the hell am I? Ah, it's no use. I don't think I can go on. I. I feel so weak. Uh, what's uh, happening? Uh, uh. Hey, that's amazing. I suddenly feel a little better. Much better. I think it's time for me to get out of here, whoever I am. An elevator, a way out. I can't call the elevator without the proper code. So they say, and he didn't even flinch. No way, that wasn't in his notes. Of course it wasn't. Would you have agreed to work this floor if it had been? Me? Yeah, it doesn't change a thing. He's safely locked away and drugged up to the eyeballs to boot. Might have asked for better pay, though, and a company car. Hmm. You've forgotten who runs this place. So why did he get dragged halfway across the globe? Well, I don't know for sure, but I kind of have this thing. 
I recognize this room. I think I've been here before. Research lab something. Now anyway, I don't know if he was running it or oh, stole something God. from there. He's out! Or was something from there. Oh no, oh, no, no. I want oh, some answers. In trouble now. Man, that's Please, don't hurt What the me. hell is this place? What have you people been doing to me? So not good. This is so not good. What year is it? Where are we? You're gonna pay for keeping me here. You do seem a little. I don't know anything. Let me go. It's possible, though, right? I don't want to talk about him anymore. Not with you. I mean, I knew he was acting weird when he arrived, but I never thought he was Shut gonna... up! Just shut up! Okay, okay. You do seem a little edgy. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's just change the subject. Sure, sure, I'm sorry. It's possible, though, right? I don't want to talk about him anymore. Not with you. I know. I... Ah, I think I killed him. How did him. you get out of your room? I just wanted to get out of here. I didn't need to do that. You guys don't know who you're messing with. I have a feeling that I was locked up here for a good reason. There's a computer in there. I wonder if it can shed any light on my situation. I was hoping for some patient records, but I guess I'm out of luck. A map. This should help me get my bearings. Right. The code for the elevator is 8461. That should come in useful. I'm reading this map correctly. That's the room I woke up in, which makes me JV034.
John Vadic. Dr. What happened? I need I need to remember. Excuse me, uh, I'm Vadic. Uh, Dr. John Vadic. Ah, finally. Colonel Joshua Stark, U.S. Marines. Good to meet you, Colonel. This way, Dr. Vadic. Thanks. Call me John. Uh, so, uh, what's all this about? Look, uh, I'm glad to be of help, but one day's notice is barely enough time for me We're to get out, out of time, Dr. Vadic. Can you handle a the sidearm? They said my role was strictly advisory. Then advise yourself to get some weapons training. My squad doesn't nurse made tourists. I'm in a squad now? We'll explain it all at the briefing. 1800 hours. Be there. Okay, military training. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I guess I should find someone who knows what's going on. Okay, Dr. Vadic. The Colonel thinks you could do with some physical training before you're given a firearm. I'm Cotelli, comms expert. Follow me and we'll see what kind of shape you're in. Okay then, let's just cover some basics. Firstly, some simple climbing. Watch me and follow over these walls. Just walk into and over. It's that easy. Good work. Keep it up, Vatic. <clears throat> Excellent. You may be a pen pusher, but it looks like you keep yourself in good shape. Well done. Okay, through here and on to the next area. Jackson will continue your training. Come on then, Vatic, get yourself over here. Use your head, Vatic. Let's see if you can get around this problem. <laughs> okay, let's see that upper body strength. Make your way along the edge. Over here, Dr. Vatic. Right, Jackson's the name. Let's get to work. You've proved you can climb walls, but what about using cover? Lean against the wall of this block. Now, move along the wall. Try leaning out and peeking around the corner. Good. Now, try peeking and push into the corner. You should move around onto the next wall. Practice this technique by making your way completely around the block. Good thinking. Keeping your head down makes you harder to see. Right. Hide and seek. Get to the other side of the end block and try to sneak back past me to the tunnel entrance. Get to the other side of the end block and try to sneak back past me to the tunnel entrance. Here I come, ready or not. Remember, I got a weapon. Perhaps I'll shoot you if I see you. <laughs>
not bad. Of course, I knew where you were, but felt like it was time to let you move on. Okay, well, make your way through these pipes. There you are! Come! Try to get all the way to the compound gates without being spotted. Take your time. Learn to watch people's behavior and find a way through. Looks like there's hope for you yet. Go see JC at the rifle range to continue your training. All right, I hear you're finally ready for your pistol training. Come on, this way. First of all, I want to show you how to aim your weapons. Take this pistol and aim it at the indicated target in front of you. 
That's good. Now, move your aim to the next indicated target. That's good. Now, move your aim to the next indicated target. All right. So that's how you lock on to and cycle your aiming between individual targets. Next, we'll look at fine-tuning your aiming. Okay. Lock on to indicated target as before. Good. Now, gently adjust your aim until you're pointing at the head region on the target. Excellent! That's it! Now you know how to aim a firearm. Of course, knowing how to aim is pointless without knowing how to fire. Luckily, firing is the easy part. Just keep your aim steady, and I squeeze the trigger. Here, take this ammo and fire it all into the range. Practice everything I just showed you. We'll continue on once your gun's empty. There you go! Feels good, huh? <laughs> all right, now it's time to put all this to the test. Take these bullets and see how many of these targets you can hit. You'll get bonus points for head impacts. You're going to need 250 points before I let you proceed with your training. Get into position and wait for my signal to start. Go! <laughs> That showed a lot of promise. Maybe the colonel was right about you after all. We'll continue your training in the next room. So follow me through. Okay. Here's what to do. There will be a number of hostiles taking up strategic positions in this room. You'll need to use cover if you want to beat them. Crouch behind a barrier and stealth against it, like Dex showed you before. Good. Now try leaning out with your gun raised to acquire a target. You can lean left, right, or even up over the barrier. Different targets will be easier to eat from different shooting positions. Okay, now we're ready to start. Each hostile will take three hits from your training weapon before they give up. The lights on the barrier will indicate how many hits each has taken. You'll fail and have to try again if you sustain too many hits, so be careful. All right, get into position and wait for my signal. Three, two, one, go! <laughs>
you can perform like that in a combat situation too. All right, let's move on to the next phase of your training. Come on, follow me. Okay, Varric, make your way to the compound gate. This time, you'll need to shoot your way through. You don't have to run and gun, though. Remember your stealth training. It might be better to choose your shots carefully and keep the situation under control. Don't worry about being shot. These test starts sting a bit, but they're harmless. If you're taking too many hits, I'll call you back. Just remember, the real enemy don't fire blanks, and neither do we. Take this seriously, and you'll do okay. This is the way to the briefing room, but I haven't finished my training. If I go through here, I'll skip training. I don't think the colonel will be too happy. And has expressed some concern that his research could be a threat in the wrong hands. We've managed to verify his identity as Victor Grianko, seen here studying in St. Petersburg, where after boasting he would revolutionize psychology, he was kicked out for unethical practices. Nine years later, he found a happy home with the Germans, running experiments into psychic phenomena at a POW camp on the Belarusian border. In 1944, the Red Army liberated the camp and claimed that Grianko was killed in the assault. However, rumors soon surfaced of a research project initiated by Stalin in Western Siberia, which ties in nicely with his recent appearances at the U.S. hydrocarb pipeline being built outside Tiumen Oblast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to go and find out what Professor Grienko has been researching for the past 50 years, and why he's so desperate to be granted political asylum. Colonel. Thank you, sir. The Pentagon has given us permission for a small team insertion. The Winter Ice Squad will drop here to Yumino Blast, just 30 clicks from the hydrocar pipeline. From there, we will track down Grianko and his research. Any questions? Yeah. Are you crazy? No, Dr. Batty. Any other questions? How did the U.S. approve anything so politically risky? That's classified. Well, then how did you confirm psychic research? Also classified. Then why do you want me here? <sighs> we don't. Our advisor tells us we may need your expertise on the ground. Okay, well, my expertise says that it's a fraud. I debunk psychics, I don't confirm them. Perhaps you never met a real one. Meet Jane Wilde, Dr. Vatic. I, I know who she is. She's a mystic. She's a fake. She's your advisor? Hello, John. Good to see you again. Every time I publish, your special advisor attacks my work for being straitjacketed by the scientific method. Doesn't the scientific method call for weighing evidence before drawing a conclusion? Exactly. Then how do you know Grianko is a fraud? Why? Well, I'm not going to Siberia. A pity, because no one else can save us. Ground floor. Hey, what? Hey, hey, stop right there! Hold, hold, hold on. Stop. Wait, wait a second. Get down to the ground. Well, I, let, get let down me, to the let ground. Let me explain. I was down. just shut up. Okay, okay. Put just, your hands on the floor. Let me explain. I, shut up and get down but, to the ground. I, uh, get, what are you doing? Uh, what? Stop that. Uh, hands on the floor. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, 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 uh,
What the hell? What have they done to me? Why can't I remember? They must have my patient records and files somewhere. I have to know what's happening to me. Hey, it's me. Good news travels fast around here. Damn it. Maybe I can find a computer somewhere else that's allowed to access patient records. What does this place have to do with winter ice? I don't get it. This is a priority one alert. The patient John Madden has escaped. He is mentally unstable and highly dangerous. The perimeter has been locked down. Extra security is arriving to deal with the problem. killed if I hang around here. Perhaps if I distracted him, I could get by without him seeing me. This is insane. I can't keep running around like this. If I find a record of how I ended up here, things might start making sense.
report to microanalysis and stop batting. You are permitted to use deadly force. records. That's where I'll find out how I got here. I just need to find a way in. I need to find someone that carries a pass card. Feeling pretty weak. Perhaps I, I should try my heal ability again.
here. Don't look. Just walk away. It's nothing. <gasps> Turn around. Turn around. Look away. Just walk away. What the? How could he not have seen me? Did, did I do that? can get into the patient records room and maybe start to find out how I ended up here. I must be able to access my records from one of these computers.
Classified? Oh, I don't get this. J Jane Wilde killed in action? What the? No one else can say what? Else. John Vatic. <laughs> 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 Mommy Bear, this is Winter Ice. Requesting clearance, over. How we doing? They've hit some weather, sir. We're losing contact. Roger, Mommy Bear. Over and out. Okay, Winter Ice. We're on our own. What am I doing here? You're here to change things for the better, John. What things? That's what we've come to find out. But what does it have to do with me? Everything, John. You're the only one who can protect us. From who? Grianko? It's not Grianko. It's what he may have created. What? <sighs> We're in danger! Sir! Ah! Vatic! Wild! Keep behind us! <laughs> 